I awoke, bound and gagged, only darkness to greet me. A thick, squelching permeated the miasma that surrounded me. A voice emanating from the tenebrous clutches of that darkness crept into my ear. It said, Welcome to In the Buff. Yeah. We're all back again for another episode of In the Buff. I'm Cody. I'm John. I'm Scott. And I'm Chris. So I wanted to start things off uh, talking about a spooky little incident that happened to me very recently. Wait, before we get into that, um, just as always, thank you so much, commenters. Seriously. And D. Lee Griff? That's great. <laughs> thank, oh, yeah. Thank you for Clarifying. providing clarification for your comment from two episodes ago. Yeah. I have not had a chance to read the comments yet. What's the clarification? He was talking about our intros. My intro was for the money, fair. Oh. His oh. intro was I didn't like Attack on Titan, which was a verbal shit post. Chris's was he likes poetry, which is boring. And meh. Yeah. And yours, you just said your name again, and that reminded him of Matt Damon from the World America, whatever the fuck it was. Team America World Police. But I said movie. I like to paint minis. But you said... My name's John first, and oh. he's like, "You already said that," and it wasn't oh, particularly that's interesting. Right. Yeah, I do remember that now. Hey, didn't you watch the episode? You can check here if you haven't seen it. In the top right. <laughs> <laughs> spooky incident, huh? I had a spooky incident akin to a ghost story. All right. It was about as real as anybody else's ghost stories. So I was so not. <laughs> yes. But I'm spoiling the story. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, I was lying in my bed, sleeping. Do we need to leave the room? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Dreaming, actually. Oh. And in my dream, I can't remember what led up to this moment, but I was in some sort of, like, like Roman amphitheater, and there was, like, some sort of event going on, and there was, like, these, you know, Corinthian columns... And is surrounding this little little garden with all these people in it, and I'm standing on one of these columns, and a some it was an alien, okay, okay. not oh like. Ghost. Hang on. Oh my god. Are we just gonna interrupt everybody's stories now? We're just gonna butt in yeah. while I'm in the middle of talking. Sorry. Thank you. You're Apology so accepted. Sweaty. You're so sweet. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's because he's that. already scared of the story. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this funny was a mistake. How are you breathing? Here's the thing. I feel fine. It was an alien. Not, it's akin to like your normal little green man. Or a, your little, a gray alien, perhaps? Something close to that. I, I'd say it was probably closest if you've ever seen the box art of XCOM 2. I have. <laughs> that alien. Okay. But it was about 15 to 20 feet tall. Damn. That's spooky. And, and I'm standing... Oh, this is a bit like the alien from that shitty Indiana Jones. Yes, but not quite as dumb looking. Okay. It was it was scary. Although I could get the sense that it was in a good mood. In fact, I got... I had I had dream intuition that it was like an ambassador. Oh. And a, and a dignitary at this party. Okay. And it's it's just standing there in like long white robes chatting with people. Being 15 to 20 feet tall. And I'm standing... I'm, I'm on this column a fair bit. You have to stoop fairly low to chat. No, no. It was like an open air... Uh, it, it wasn't stooping. Oh. Regardless. <laughs> so I do I do some little finger pistols at it. And I don't know if you know this, but in my dreams, my finger pistols actually work as pistols. So you tried to assassinate this... So I tried... Dream. So I attempt to assassinate this foreign dignitary from this alien race. <laughs> get two shots off. Doesn't do anything. And it turns and just locks eyes on me. And it's it's like eyes go like jet black all the way through. It's white robes turn into like this black jumpsuit. Almost like a mystique Ooh. transformation. And then it just like lifts its hand and like finger pistols at me. And at, at that point, like I wake up. I like jolt awake. So it got you. It got me. But here's the spooky part. Dead serious. I wake up in my room, and I open my eyes, and it is standing 
at the foot of my bed. Oh shit, dude. Yep, it's it's right it's not fifteen feet tall because it wouldn't fit in my dinky apartment. It was normal size, but I see it standing right there looking at me. And uh I panic. Uh have you you've heard of that like fight or flight response? Sure, absolutely. I don't have that. Uh it's all fight all the time. Sure. <laughs> and so I bolt up right I in my I bolt up right in my bed and I just start swinging. <laughs> oh, oh, I was oh, oh my gosh. Uh <laughs> and I get about to the third punch and it just like disappears. Wow. And I understand it was it's it's it was just an after image. It was the last thing that my brain processed and so it just interpreted that visually as something in the room, but it was spooky. I'll say this, uh, to err on the side of truthfulness, legitimacy. That is like, uh, you know, that corroborates with your textbook abduction scenario. Yeah. Some guy waking up, being either surrounded or seeing a straight up fucking alien in the room with them. Mm -hmm. Just like looking at them. Uh, of course, that's probably, you know, most of the time it's probably sleep paralysis. Mm -hmm. uh, like Whitley Strieber. That's ah, sleep paralysis, my guy. I could talk about Whitley Strieber for hours. Well, that's the thing, is that this this explicitly wasn't sleep paralysis. Exactly. You were moving. Because I, 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 I was in action immediately. But I understand that it was just like a visual hallucination, because it just disappeared after like a couple of seconds. Or it apparated away and you're being targeted by the Grace. That is also a possibility. What do they want from you? That's the question. Your genes are terrible. <laughs> I know. They're really faded and ripped at this point. He and took really a different baggy. direction. But um, Tish, that's comedy. You haven't said anything at all. No. Did you even introduce yourself? I did. Okay. What? Just I making know, sure man. you're still here. Yeah. He's calling you a liar. He is. Ancient aliens, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, his story had ancient Rome and an alien. Oh my god, it did. Isn't that fun? Perfect segue into um, your talking point. Well, no, I was actually going to say that it's interesting that you... When did you have this dream? This was a couple of nights ago. Like, maybe... This was Thursday morning. Weird. Did you also dream that on Thursday? Uh, for Wednesday morning? <laughs> no, that Thursday was International House of Pancake Day. <clears throat> oh. I believe. That might have been Wednesday. <laughs> it was Wednesday night when I went to sleep. But it was Thursday morning when we had the dream. Why does that matter? It was Thursday night when I woke up. I, I'm just trying to make connections, John. I'm trying right. to make connections. Why does I have matter? It doesn't. I'm just saying I'm just saying, isn't it isn't it funny that It's about as relevant of a connection as every other ancient alien or ghost story. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Absolutely. Okay. So are you just going to sit in silence? You wanted to talk about something? No, I not, not really. Like, man, why do we talk about dreams so much? I don't know. Here's, okay, if you want to talk about something else, I do have something else I want to talk about. Go for it. <laughs> so, I'm going through a phase in my life right now that... It's not a phase. <laughs> and I'm slightly embarrassed where I am... Getting into interior decorating. Oh, okay. okay. Every man goes through it. Like, it was I... my special day. <laughs> <laughs> so my apartment for the last two years has just been a white drywall box. And I just signed my third year, a, a new lease. And I'm like, I should change something about this now. And I'm trying to, like, spruce the place up a bit. Like, put up some wall art or some pictures... Or, I don't know, buy pillows. I bought pillows. I bought down-stuffed pillows. Absolutely. Ooh. And I bought color-coded towels. Are you going to mention the chairs from Wendy's? <laughs> I bought some dining room chairs to go at my dining table because after two years, I'm like, I want to stop using metal folding table chairs That's at my fair. dining table. This week, I bought seasonal towels, like seasonal hand what towels. What What season? <laughs> Fall. That's in time. I just, mm -hmm. I had this idea, this peer pressure to thought, where I'm like, people buy seasonal towels, so I guess I'm just going to be a guy who buys pumpkin towels. 
and little ceramic pumpkin figurines <laughs> to decorate imagine. for the season. <laughs> but like you only, what do you do with them when it's summer? <laughs> I put them in a box. Nope. I would just forget they existed. <laughs> listen, so like. I'm like you, but one step <laughs> earlier. Mm -hmm. Chris used to live with me, for all of you guys who don't know. And we decorated, quote unquote, decorated one year for, for, for Halloween. And we put a pumpkin out in front of my house. And that pumpkin remained <laughs> a disgusting, mangled, melted mess. Until, like, the beginning of the next summer. When I was like, Chris, just shovel it into the fucking... Into the fucking trash can, dude. <laughs> also, speaking yeah, about you, it. you and decorating, you just put out freaking Christmas gifts that you had gotten last year that yeah. was supposed to use to be, be used to decorate. <laughs> yeah. You just put them out last month. That's accurate. John, I might have been inspired by you because you just renovated your living room. Mm. I did. Mm. I did. You uh, took down some of that wood paneling and painted you the walls. You gotta get Bob Vila in here, this old yeah. house. <laughs> Well, Bob Vila hasn't Who the been hell is associated. Bob Vila? <laughs> this old house. He hasn't been associated with this old house in decades. Well, if you want your Bob Vila <laughs> fix, you've got to get on Dabble. I don't even know what that is. Dabble is some random channel that Bob Vila oh, now has. Now I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go there for your Bob Vila fix. I think he's uh, he's past his prime. I think he's like the human equivalent of sour milk. I wow. understand that he was very difficult to work with. Really? And that's why he got pushed out of this old house. Prima donna. <laughs> Bit of a prima donna. Yep. Yeah. That's why he goes solo now on his own TV show. That's a shame. I always, When I was young, I used to con confuse Bob Vila with Glenn. No. Home Improvement. Tim Allen? No. His friend in Home Improvement. Richard Carr? Richard Carr. I, I was trying to think of the character's name. I used to confuse them all the time because they look, like, fleetingly similar <laughs> to my, like, eight-year-old. Yeah, brain. okay. I could see that. I always mixed up Richard Karn with Rip Torn. Yeah. I also thought that Wait, that's Richard Karn... Name. Yeah, Rip Torn from... We're not hosting an intergalactic kegger. <laughs> <laughs> That's the act, that's the actor's name. Yeah, that's his like that's Rip, his like his stage, name. His stage okay. name. I don't know what his actual name is. Maybe it is Rip Torn. Dude, that's awesome. I also used to think that uh, Richard Carn was just oh uh, Jonathan Frakes, but fat. <laughs> <laughs> I can also see yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, uh, all these names. Name salad. I Wait. know very few. <laughs> Jonathan Frakes is the uh, total fabrication. <laughs> nope, like, not this up. time. <laughs> I made it up. It was written by someone in New Jersey, or whatever he says. I know, I know the collaboration of his videos. Yeah. That's it. Good enough told you his name. Ancient aliens, huh? Sure. So, <laughs> um, as, a, as a lad, mm -hmm. I want to talk about this. Uh, I've always liked mythology, and I think it's because it was like an easy way... As a, as a kid, a very young kid, I was into mythology, and it was like an easy way to... It made me feel like I was smarter than the people who made it up. Is that a weird <laughs> thing to say? Like, oh, they think lightning is made by dudes in the sky. I know it's when, like, electrons or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fucking shit. idiots. But, like, I it just... I liked thinking that way. I like thinking like, oh. You liked feeling superior. Not necessarily. That was a joke. <laughs> oh. It was more about like, look how far humans have come. Okay. Uh, and also, and with that in mind, people always say like, oh, th there's that, uh, I think it's Carl Sagan. If you were to pack, if, if you were to make the entire history of the universe into a calendar, the entirety that humans have been here would be the last second of the last day on that calendar. Yeah. But I think that's fucking awesome. <laughs> in that last second of the last day on that calendar, we've done all of this. We're really efficient, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are exceptionally efficient. What the fuck did you do, rocks? Nothing. <laughs> you just sat around. Sedimentized? That is until the ancient alien showed up. Which is how we're transitioning <laughs> into... Uh, more alien talk. More alien more talk. Alien. I love ancient aliens, guys. I really do. I don't believe in any of it. For real. Mm -hmm. But I love ancient aliens and I love... A lot of it is weird. 
And I don't think aliens came down and did stuff like they, they talk about the Anunnaki, right? Mm -hmm. And how the Anunnaki came down. He knows. Chris knows. The Anunnaki came down and they made human beings to be. Since Chris hasn't said anything, he excitedly finger gunned yeah. towards Scott. Did you try to assassinate me? <laughs> no. He tried no. to assassinate Cody. I did the one finger, not the two finger. What's your totem? Is this a dream? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, my totem is this podcast. Cody just starts swinging. And it never ends. I do, I do. <laughs> Life's just a waking nightmare. I, I do have a legitimate totem for when I'm in my dreams. Yeah? Really? Don't yeah. tell us. Because then uh, it won't work anymore. No, I don't believe in that. Oh, okay. Well, what is it? Uh, I bite my finger. I like bite, oh, my, I, bite my, I bite my knuckle because I don't feel that pain in a dream. And so if I bite my finger and I don't feel any pain, I'm like, oh, this is a dream. What if you just wake up and you're just gnawing on your fucking finger? It's happened. Now I'm, <laughs> now, now I'm derailed. I had to get it reattached. I'm derailed to this now. This is a good rail. I taught myself how to lucid dream mm -hmm. when I was a teenager. And that's similar to my totem, if you want to call it, is I noticed I don't have hands in my dream. Mm -hmm. So I do this. Like even now, I'll I'll do like I'll do this and look at my hand, turn it backward and look at the back of my hand, and then turn it back, look at the front of my hand. And in my waking life, I still do that, and it helped me lucid dream because it became a habit. Also, another one is that I still do. I never lucid dream so much anymore. Do you open up a book and look I, away from it and look yeah, back at it to see if the text changes? And that one really helped me to lucid dream. If you ever want to lucid dream, boys and girl, um. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I can read in my dreams. I think I've become illiterate or there's just no text. I, I've definitely read in lucid dreams before and it's often like, there's definitely a dream I had where I was reading what I was thinking. Like, it's not necessarily that I was, it's like what I was thinking, it's not that I was reading what I was thinking, it's like what I was thinking was what was on the page. It's weird to describe, but it's exactly what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. Uh... But uh, I don't lucid dream anymore. Not after the incident. <laughs> oh, what's the incident, you ask? I didn't. No one no one asked that. No one? I thought I heard. Anybody? What was it? What's the incident? Yeah, what was the incident? <laughs> what was the incident, you ask? Yeah. There wasn't one. There wasn't one, actually. Uh -huh. there, uh, the incident was I just stopped I, lucid I dreaming. <laughs> I peed the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back on topic. <laughs> When's the last time you peed the bed? <laughs> or let's get on this new topic. Who? Um. Man, I was maybe eight or nine, man. I was probably <laughs> ten or eleven, and I was super sick. I was the like one of the sickest moments of my life. Sick dog. I was so. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, it was like real bad pneumonia or something, and I wow. was. I just. Like, couldn't control my body. <laughs> yeah, uh, I definitely could control my body. <laughs> <You're just lazy. laughs> I was just laying there. I think I was playing Crash Bandicoot or something. No, I was play playing Final Fantasy X. Oh my actually. god, and you just sat in bed and pissed <laughs> and in I just bed. like I think I just finished watching Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm like, I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> like three hours went by, and I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I uh, there's a lot wrong with me, man. I think my the last time I pissed the bed was embarrassing. <laughs> not last Saturday, but embarrassingly late in life. I was probably in my twenties. Were you drunk? I don't think I was. Oh no! He but might have. Hold on, he's rethinking. It might have been... I don't think I was in a bed for that scenario. <laughs> God! You absolute degenerate. <laughs> you should have been put down, dude. <laughs> why, why did you get to this age? <laughs> but this last time, it, it, and it's not like it's been a regular occurrence. It was probably like a decade since the last time. It's just in dreams sometimes, I have this sensation... Of urinating, yeah. and for whatever reason, this time it wasn't a false alarm. And <laughs> so now, whenever I have that sensation while I'm dreaming, I'm like, "No, no, no! Gotta wake up! Gotta wake up!" <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's interesting. It, it it's always a little bit of a, a bit of an emergency. Chris, 
So I like the idea that the Anunnaki put humans on Earth uh, to mine gold. Did they piss the bed? <laughs> <laughs> sure they did. That's, that is what the idea is. Mm-hmm. Circling back, circling back. Um, it's bullshit. But it, it's, it's interesting to think about that that is like, I believe, don't quote me on any of this, I believe that is the real ICR, in, IRC myth. Indus River Valley Civilization myth is that they were created by these beings called Anunnaki to mine gold. That's like in the built-in creation myth for them. My, the weird things for ancient aliens for me is the, there's two of them. And I bring them up all the time mm-hmm. to you guys. Uh, there's Puma Punku. Isn't that fun to say? I've never That's heard that before name. at all. And there's Mahinjadaro. That's also an enjoyable name. Oh, mm-hmm. just perked up. Mahinjadaro is a ancient civilization. The crowd is about to be so confused. An ancient site, uh, you know, site where ancients lived. What makes it weird and makes it makes ancient aliens go, "Look, isn't that cool?" Is there is a bunch of vitrified stone at Mahinjadaro. Mm-hmm. Vitrified stone is is what occurs when stone is very quickly heated up to the point of melting and then very quickly solidified as it cools down. Mm. Like with sand when it gets struck by lightning. Mm. There is a bunch of it at Mahinjadaro. And so the question is... How? Why? And it just so happens there's also... At at this site. There's also a bunch of vitrified stone. Where else? Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Is that true? Yeah. The the hyper heat of the explosion of the, of the nuclear explosion melted uh, like concrete, and then it just cooled quickly. So it's like it looks like concrete lava. Hmm. And uh, it isn't that weird. Why'd that happen? Why are you saying weird? It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why that one word though? <laughs> That's in India, right? I think it's just. I think it might be Pakistan. Pakistan. She would know, but. Uh, I'm not really certain. The other one is Puma Punku. That's mm-hmm. South America. Puma Punku is less weird than Mahinjadaro. Weird. <laughs> Shulk. It's less weird than Mahinjadaro, <laughs> uh, but it's still, I, I find it more interesting. So Puma Punku is this site. Uh, I don't have, I, I have no clue who built it uh, or how old it is. Uh, but what's, inter- what's important is that it is old enough to matter that this is interesting. So it is made, it basically looks like somebody either didn't finish building something and left all their parts out and the parts just kind of eroded away with the wind, or it looks like somebody built something really big and something bad happened to it and like like Legos just smashed it to the ground. Uh, Why that's weird is Pumapunku is made of diorite which is the second hardest naturally occurring mineral. There are very fine grooves in this in these diorite blocks, which imply you had to have very fine tools, which had to have... Diamond. Diamond-tipped, uh, you know, tools in them. But they're so good. See, I look at that and I think, wow, that's cool. That's cool that, like, people back way back then knew to do that, first off, and secondly, could do that. Ancient alien people look at that and they're like, Aliens. That must be a laser that did that to the diorite. That's all. I just think that's interesting. I think that's, uh... I like I like to try to wrap my head around the idea that, like, they don't have a science to it, but they're like, oh. Like, this cuts whatever... Yeah, they have nothing but time. They can just figure it out eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's, uh, beautiful. <laughs> uh, and But then there's a lot of things that, um, are... I mean, we said it earlier. They're pretty much ancient alien shit posts. They're like, look at this hieroglyph. Doesn't that look like a helicopter? And I'm just like, yeah, it does kind of look like a helicopter. Okay. <laughs> Aliens? It's like they're getting all the wrong messages from it. Yeah. So, I like how ancient aliens, you don't have to be that ancient yeah. to get into it. Because... Uh, I know there are, like, if you think about how quickly we advanced from the uh, Industrial Revolution to now in computers and software and everything like that, um, and instead of thinking, like, oh, new technologies then lead to new technologies, uh, and it's an exponential curve, 
Um, no, in the 50s, aliens showed up and talked to Eisenhower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He ate a treaty. Mm-hmm. They gave us Wi-Fi. Oh, I did a jerk-off motion with my hand <laughs> for the audience. We're getting a lot of dead air around here now. Well, let's we, think of... So let's, let's... We can cut it out. That's the, that's the beauty of it. The dead air doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just making more work. It just makes rest. us feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. Um, what else do we have to talk about, guys? What else do we have to talk about, guys? That's what he said. Hmm. Do you like mythology? I think it's cool, but I don't ever have a chance to explore it. I didn't really go into what I was talking about with mythology earlier. Do you guys? You seem to like mythology. You know a lot about it. Uh, I know certain things about certain mythologies, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I think every child goes through, like, different stages of interest, particularly young boys. Absolutely. Little boys. Uh, in second grade, it's, like, dinosaurs. And then in fifth grade, it's Greek myths. And then basically any time after seventh grade, it's it's just pornography. <laughs> Wow. Does that ever change? Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, not from all the little boys I've interviewed. Oh, my oh goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Get them on a uh, list. <laughs> I like... Uh, so, my interest in mythology came from, I think, it started with... I like the idea of monsters. I like the idea that... What if a minotaur is real? What if I could, like... Be a minotaur. <laughs> I want to be a minotaur and I can have I want, horns. I want, I want to be a minotaur. I want to be a minotaur. I want, I, <laughs> I want to be a minotaur. So that's where I joke, but for real, I was like into the idea of, I'm sure a lot of kids have been this way. I like Darth Vader. Fuck Luke Skywalker. I Darth Vader is awesome. I liked, I rooted for the Empire. I'm not even joking. I was, like, annoyed when the good guy always won in a Saturday morning cartoon. I was like, fuck this, man. Are you kidding me? Like, the Power Rangers, like, they get just some new stupid power and a new gun shows up and they shoot the Rita Terrible or whatever it is. <laughs> Repulsa? Rita Repulsa. Yeah, Rita, Rita Terrible. <laughs> Rita Terrible. <laughs> Like, that's bullshit. It's not fair. She did all of this to work, and the power just, like, win through the power of friendship. That's probably why I fucking hate Superman too much, as so much as well. It's he doesn't win through the power of friendship. Well, he wins. Like, Batman has to outsmart his opponent. Superman punches them so hard, their atoms collapse on themselves. <laughs> yeah. And that's bullshit. <laughs> I hate it. And I want to be a minotaur. <laughs> And that, thinking about it that way, like, I, I remember watching Clash of the Titans with my dad. And, like... The original? Yeah, the OG. And I'm being like, oh, look at that. It's not Liam Neeson as Zeus. <laughs> and and I remember seeing, like, the, the big dumb... It was cool to me, but, but like, the big Kraken. And he... I was like, I want this. I want this to be real. And that probably... That probably made me the person I am now yeah. is where that that those formative years were what led me down the path of interest that I had. Like I got super into cryptids. I wanted Bigfoot to be real so bad, but just take a fucking picture of him if he's so real. It's not even that crazy to think that there'd be an ape in North America, right? I suppose not. We're here. If he's there, take a picture of him. Gorillas exist. But he's not real. If he were real, we'd have irrefutable proof. David Attenborough would have seen into Bigfoot's asshole by now. <laughs> I'd be able to see Bigfoot's fucking each other. For fun. But I can't. <laughs> because he's not real. I don't, and he isn't a ghost. I don't think... Yes, I think we just found the thumbnail. I don't think... Two big Bigfoot fucking each other. <laughs> <laughs> Is it big foots or big feet? I don't like either. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think big feet would uh, have uh, sexual intercourse for pleasure. I think that's very rare in the animal kingdom. They'd only do it for procreation. I've heard about them. <laughs> I, watched a, about a, I watched a, a chimpanzee yeah, jerk chimpanzee. himself off with a frog. We all have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shared that video. I've seen the mirror before. 
Can we confirm though <laughs> <laughs> that that was that that wasn't him trying to procreate with the frog's mouth? I can't. I can't confirm it. It would have made a weird baby. <laughs> that would have been a cryptid. It would have been. Sure. And it wouldn't have been a sandhill crane like every other <laughs> cryptid is. Because no bird. Because no bird. There's no bird in the equation. It can't fly, no bird. A penguins can't fly. Ostrich can't fly. Shit. Also bird. Dodo. Dodo. And bats can fly, not bird. Not bird. <laughs> Sugar glider. <laughs> Airplane. Also not, not <laughs> bird. Also can't have sex for pleasure. I've seen Airplanes? some documentation otherwise. <laughs> I've seen some documentation. Yeah. Have you, have, you not seen the, have you not seen the refueling ceremonies up in the air? <laughs> Ceremony? There's <laughs> like one flying upside down while the other one... Towards its liquid. <laughs> I, yes. From what I understand, <laughs> oh. there is a there is a certain subset of erotic illustration of dragons fucking airplanes and dragons fucking cars and dragons fucking cars. I don't know what? why. I don't know why. why. Am I just hearing about this? Why? I'll let you look it up I'll after we after we leave, or maybe when we're still here. <laughs> but I don't want you to misconstrue <laughs> that that is airplanes having sex for pleasure. All of that intercourse is non consensual. Are you? Did you confirm? Did he confirm? I can confirm. You can confirm. He's, the, he's read the documents. <laughs> All right. I, you just reminded me of something that I'm mad about. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not attacking another podcast that I happened to listen to several years ago, but I'm kind of attacking them. There's a podcast. Uh, I'm not going to say the name of it, just in case. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. If you've heard it, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Uh, they talk about like cryptids and shit. And the problem I had with the podcast, listening to it, it was okay. I enjoyed the format fine. The, the personalities were okay. The problem was there's no guy like me there going like, you're fucking crazy. So they're just like, yeah, yeah, huh? Dragons could have existed. Yeah, absolutely. Pterodactyls in the Old West. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, there wasn't. There isn't a pterodactyl in the Old West. You cannot rationalize with me that, oh, what if there was a prehistoric animal? The birds swallow rocks because they got gizzards. Birds swallow rocks. What if a lizard swallowed a rock to do the same thing a bird did, but they they swallowed a flint and a steel, and it rubbed together, made a spark, and the gastrointestinal system made a flame with its gases, and they breathe fire out their mouth. And I'm just like, oh my. go and fuck yourself. <laughs> Are you telling me? And the other guy, one guy said this, and the other guy's like, yes, I'm into that. And I get it, they're just having fun, but they needed us, a guy like me, me there. That episode made me stop watching it, because I got so frustrated that they were, yes, anding each other. <laughs> Why did everybody just look at me? <laughs> they were, yes, anding each other so hard, and it just, I'm just like, dude, dragons aren't real. Okay, they didn't breathe fire, there were big old lizards... What's that one called? Megalania? Megalodon. Meg well, that's a big shark. WrestleMania? Are sharks not lizards? No. No. What's that big one? Megalodon, though, was lizard. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's like Megania. Megacompensarium? It's just a big old lizard. <laughs> it's basically a, like, it's like a huge Komodo dragon. And those existed. We have fossils of them. Dinosaurs! They existed! More birds. More birds. Dinosaurs! Contemporary, uh... Point is... Consensus. I don't understand... I guess now I'm getting mad at myself for wanting to be a minotaur. <laughs> because minotaurs don't... <laughs> minotaurs don't aren't exist. real. But there's plenty of actual amazing things that definitely are real. I mean, I wanted to be a baller, so... <laughs> you got to be. <laughs> you got to be in... I think in, that's the whole reason I like... I like that's the whole reason I think I even got into D and D was I saw I saw the fucking basically a baller I don't know the Balrog in Lord of the Rings and I'm like do you think that's where the name comes from maybe no because it has the sword like the flame sword and it has the flame whip and I'm like I won't be that thing <laughs> I was a lizard you were were you wait I thought you were a, a then I was man. then I was a mind flayer I was a lizard in the Balrog game Balrog game it's not really a game. 
Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> it was. It was like. One afternoon. Baby's you know, first D and D was what that was. Surprisingly, a lot of stories come out of that though. Yeah, I remember. Was that the same one where your little sister yeah. was in it and she we played threw a her a stick. trap or something? Stick, yeah. yeah. Mm. And we threw her at it, like there was just Kyle set up a gym in the middle of a room, <laughs> and yeah. I'm like nobody trusted it, so we just hucked her at it, <laughs> <laughs> and she was all bored. Yeah, she's like, yeah. Toss me. I, you have to toss me. <laughs> <laughs> also, another great story is when you, as a Balor, went to a tavern, got drunk, and you're like, I've got swords, and then <laughs> cut your head off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. Um, <laughs> um, I don't remember much about that game. I just remember that I picked a spellcaster and shouldn't have. <laughs> Because we like started at, like some obscene high level and we started at level twenty, dude. And yeah. I like I had we didn't the, we started at level six. It was like level like oh yeah, because yeah, it was real. I remember high. Kyle, yeah, Kyle was like I gotta plan this out. I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> you know, power creep. I didn't exist back then. <laughs> he didn't. I know. Hadn't been born yet. Like, you know, <laughs> weirdly, like we have all these stories of D and D, but they also just have a lot to do with like your guys' house. Because mm. we would just, sorry Chris, you weren't a part of this, but we would just stay the night after the whole D&D session, and then like the dumbest shit would happen. I loved that time. Like, I personally am thinking about the moment where I was sleeping on a cot uh, in your in your brother's room, and you were on the other side of me from him, and he kept threatening me to shut the fuck up <laughs> so he could go to sleep, and you're just over here doing this stupid little giggle. <laughs> And he just fucking hit me with the whole tube of, like, wrapping paper. Just, like, right in the fucking ear. Oh. And I wasn't even making noise. <laughs> so unjust. Uh, I, the no. thing I remember... Uh, I dropped my phone. The thing I remember the most about uh, hanging out, you know what I'm going to go into. Do you not want me is to? Is this the battery? Th- oh, is it that? What is it? You, the freedom the story. The freedom story? Is it the freedom story? Oh, yeah, Okay. <laughs> We can go into it. I mean, if not, can we talk about dropping a battery on Garrett? <laughs> oh, poor Garrett, man. Or my sister hitting him with a mallet in the head. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know that one. Why did he leave the group? Garrett doesn't remember it either. Yeah. Uh, I remember Buffalo. Who was... Uh... <laughs> there was a time where, like... Was it me that said it? Yeah, you were the one who kept saying Like, that. fucking... Just a bunch of stupid kids, and we're in their kitchen. We're in the uh, oof, got you almost, <laughs> almost doxed me there. Uh, we're in Cody's <laughs> kitchen, uh, and like they had milk, and they and Cody took a big drink of milk. And I just look him dead in the face and say, Buckle. He also had a mouthful of pizza, <laughs> <laughs> half pizza, half milk. And I'm just like, Buffalo. He looks at me. I can see him cracking, and he looks right at John and just explodes all over him. And John was so salty. Oh, he's still a salty. Legends <laughs> say to this day, he's still salty. Oh, man. I, I just want to say... Defend yourself. Mm-mm. My defense gonna come back. was I was cracking. That's true. Yeah. And I didn't want to spew all over Scott, who was sitting right in front of me. And so I turned to get out, to get him out of the blast zone. And John, uh. unfortunately, <laughs> had decided to sit right next to him. This exact moment has played back in my head over a thousand times. <laughs> You just lie awake. <laughs> and it's just like, I see this slow motion of you turning towards me, and we have this weird moment of eye contact as the grin just gets bigger, mm-hmm. and then it just fucking it, you would have You would have seen in my eyes some nonverbal communication, just Don't. two <laughs> words. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> okay. All Do right. not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> that you, You're probably thinking, yes, I could have turned the other direction where nobody was. 
But I'm right side dominant. And you might have hurt. You might have hit the. Car. I was to your left. <laughs> I don't think that's true. No, maybe I, maybe you were. Maybe you, I was to your right. You to, to my left. <coughs> yeah, so I, I was to your right. I was to your right. I don't remember the background of the picture. I that's, just remember your face. That's, that's just my comfort. You know, it's just it's, it's, it's slipping into an old pair of comfy socks. I do get, we, he was joking, but I do get the impression that you do lie awake at night thinking about that. <laughs> have I, thought, you have I don't about lie that awake at night, but it pops back in my head. Yeah. Probably like once or twice a year. Do you guys ever get that really human thing of like trying to go to bed and you're like, oh shit, six years ago I did that embarrassing thing. Yep. Not really. Yep. Yeah. Every hour of the day. I've got one that hey, really hi, just Chris. makes me want to cringe up into a, a little subatomic particle. I would love to hear it. If you... I was in, this is my freshman year of college. I believe it was my first semester. And I had taken, because I'm a little fucking nerd, oh. I had taken to attending the chemistry lectures for the section that I wasn't in. I'm like, oh, I don't have any classes during this time in the week. Why don't I just go and listen to this other chemistry lecture to supplement the three other lectures I'm already getting? Good God. And so I go. And for whatever reason, because I'm a dumb fucking little punk bitch, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this isn't my actual lecture. So I don't need to take it so, so seriously. And so I put my headphones in and start listening to some music. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this is nice. What kind of music? <laughs> I know exactly what song it was. Uh, it, it was uh, Volume Up by 4 Minute. Never heard of like that, some sort of 8 bit song? There, it's a K pop uh, band. Oh my god. Nice. So I was listening to this. Oh, no. uh, it's a great song. But, I'm sure it but is. the chorus is pump up the volume. And I'm like, you got it, Huna. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so I just turn the volume up to the max. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there <laughs> pretending to listen to the lecture. And then my friend who's sitting next to me, I just see in the corner of my eye, he just like turns to me. <laughs> and then I look around, and, like, other people are turning. And then the professor, like, turns to me, <laughs> stops the lecture. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and he's just like, excuse me, and I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. That's a game ender. Yep. And then I and then I turn the music off. And then, no joke, somebody confronted me after the after the lecture, and he was just like, I can't. I just want you to, to let you know that that was incredibly rude of oh, you man. to do that. That you are. You are wasting everybody else's time. Jesus Christ. We are paying to be here. I agree. And you are ruining our our lecture. And I'm like, the song told me to turn up the volume. <laughs> <laughs> what, am I just not going to listen to it? I just looked at him and like, you got a fucking punchable face, buddy. <laughs> he had a very punchable <laughs> voice, too. Oh, God bless. <laughs> what about you, Chris? Give us one. An embarrassing story? Give us one that you, you think about a lot. <sighs> um, I want to hear your voice. You should lean in so they can hear your voice, too. I, I want to hear your voice. I'm trying to think, because normally it's just like, uh, I'm just talking to somebody. Like now. And later... And you fart. <laughs> <laughs> later I'll be like... <clears throat> Uh, when I interjected there, uh, was stupid, and you're stupid, Chris, for, for doing that. They're not, like, actual things, they're just me. You can't think of a single, like, event that you think back to, you're like, damn it, why did that happen? I got a good one. I have a lot of them, but I got a good There's, one. There was every time I went to a person's house and I accidentally broke a chair. <laughs> oh, how many times has that happened, Chris? Three. Jesus <laughs> Christ. In, uh, oh, my God. You better stand up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, never mind. You already went up to him. You broke my fucking couch. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
Uh, the first time I can remember. <laughs> the first time is uh, I had I had recently moved to our small town here, um, <clears throat> and so I was you know trying to make friends and things, and in middle school, and uh, I was invited to a Halloween party. And one of I the, can't wait. <laughs> uh, one of the one of the older kids were like, "Chris, I'm gonna get you." And so I thought, <laughs> 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 like, like, <laughs> "Was he trying to fuck you?" No, well, yeah, he says it was an older kid. This is a forty-five year old man. So I didn't realize. <laughs> Why are you in middle school still? Oh I didn't God. realize. Uh, I did not realize there was a plastic chair behind me, so I went to go and turn and run, and then I fell over the chair and broke it. And then he got you. See, when you started, <laughs> when you started that story, you. I'm like, that's a weird Yeah, that's reboot. how Chris lost his virginity. <laughs> that's, that's like a no, weird no, reboot no. of Billy Madison or whatever. That shit. Yeah, that's odd. What? A 45-year-old man in middle school? I, I, I don't know, man. Was Adam Sandler 45? No, he is... Uh, how old is he now? He is a degenerate now. I don't care how old he is. Maybe? John, what's your story? What is it? Uh, I think I've told a couple of you guys this before. But for the viewers, at my first job, uh, I worked at a grocery store. And I was all gung-ho about learning every department, everything I can. Started out as a cashier, and then eventually uh, they went to move me to the dairy department, and then finally to the meat department. And they play, it's it, it's like a smaller uh, grocery store, so they play like older songs from like the 60s and 70s and fucking whatever. Uh, but um, they were playing, uh, they were playing Feels Like the First Time, uh, and I'm, I'm learning some stuff, and they were having me like roll the sausage and whatnot. And like getting like packing it, yeah, I know. And like one of the old guys, I was in a room with four old men, and one of them's like, the they're like, time. they're like, how old are you, son? I'm like, I'm um, I'm 18, and they're like, they're like, I bet you haven't had a first time yet, have you? And me, being the fucking <laughs> moron that I am, <laughs> literally took that as, oh, they probably think I, <clears throat> this is my first time, is what I said. Thinking, this is my first time in the meat department. And to make it worse, I was holding a package of meat below the counter in front of my garage. And the next day, they told me I wasn't going to be in the meat department anymore. And it took me, here's the better part, it took me one night laying in bed thinking about that, like four years later, for me to realize. Oh, shit. For me to be like, oh my god. They thought I was fucking the meat. Were you not? Now I wish I was. Yeah. yeah at least there's been a reason. No. I don't buy it. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I've been ragging my brain. I don't have much shame. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of fun stories that I think about that are, that make me just go like, why'd you do that, Scott? Like, wh why can't you just be a normal person? <laughs> Like, I've told you guys this a hundred times. There was that one time at band camp. Hey, it's one of those. <laughs> there was this one time at band camp where uh, some... I was in percussion. And one of the other girls in percussion, she was a higher class than me. I was a, a filthy low class Sam. And she was elite. And I, I'm a sad person. <laughs> and I was doing my normal sad person thing. And I was just, like, looking at the ground... I think I was, like, reading the taps, uh, or whatever you call them, like, the notes for the percussion to, okay. like, burn them in my head. And she's like, you know, um, a smile's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> and without even breaking a, like, without even breaking a sweat, I just looked up at her and I said, so's gonorrhea. <laughs> and she just, like... Got sad. <laughs> oh, no, sadness is also contagious. <laughs> and left. She has left me in the room alone. Oh. I mean, what do you say to that, though? <laughs> if I have no fucking clue who you are, you're some fucking freshman, and you come back with a line like that, we either just became best friends, or I'm like, I, I, I can't. 
I can't talk to this guy. Later on, that same girl tried to strike <clears throat> up a conversation with me again. I have no fucking clue what her name is. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. She she was like uh like talking to me and I was being my normal self. I replied something or other, uh like being I was like a little bit sassy and she's like, You know, you'll catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. And I said, mm-hmm. You'll catch even more with shit. And she's like oh. Wow, she she tried, man. And walked away. <laughs> Left me alone again. <laughs> Wherever you are now, mystery percussionist lady. I don't think about you ever. <laughs> I hope you've caught more flies, though. I don't. I doubt they watch the podcast. Who wants a fly? What if they did, dude? How weird would that be? Why am I trying to catch flies? That's a good point. To feed your uh, carnivorous plant. That was it, Andy. it does it itself. Andy had that. It, it has the pheromones itself. I don't Man. need to do dick for that plant. You remember when Andy's mom fed his fucking... His Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap a stick. <laughs> He, she gave it meatloaf. <laughs> oh, <died>. meatloaf yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, poor, uh, that poor thing. Do you think they feel? No, I don't think it has. They probably system. felt bloated. There's a lot of science. Science. Uh, I put I put air quotes up for the listeners about uh, talking to plants and feel, plants feeling. How do you feel about that? So not you. I'm looking at you. Okay, I I gotta eat something. Yeah, you're sick. That's how I feel about that. What do you feel about it? The smart one. <laughs> I mean, the actual answer is you could probably you could delineate you could delineate like experience into three distinct categories. You've got sensation, perception, and cognition. And I would say plants get to the sensation. Yeah, because they, they can turn toward, like, the sun. Exactly. Right? But they don't have any perception. They don't have anything, like, a, a central nervous agree. system. I would absolutely agree. So, like, this, the sensation is strictly just, like, sensory organs. Perception is something akin to, like, a nervous system. And then cogni- cognition is, like, higher level functioning. They, they need sensation in order to be uh, competitive with the other plants in their field. Right, um, and that's how they get ranked. Right. I mean, <laughs> now you I'm, know, he just went to like a whole that. other. What? Nothing. <laughs> I was making a, I made a dumb joke and nobody laughed. <laughs> and then Scott laughed because nobody laughed, <laughs> and I just wrote down another another experience on my list of things that make me cringe at yeah. night. <laughs> You saw it, the birth of it right here. Yeah. <laughs> At 55 minutes and 25 seconds. You're going to feel like a real idiot when we've cut out more than that. We're at like 50 minutes. Oh months. my god. That's another thing to the list. <laughs> Chris, you have so much work to do. <laughs> it is have, so hot in this room. It really is. I'm actually quite comfortable. <laughs> I, I re- bet re- you are. Are. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm the only one that showed up nude. Right. <laughs> Everybody else is punked out. I'm, uh, like, you know, circling back, uh, well, somewhat circling back, uh, but also talking about plants. Stop it. What are you doing? Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me there. Only my girlfriend can touch me. <laughs> 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 Please um, link that in the description. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is that? What is that? What, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a big Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, circling back a little bit while still talking about plants, uh, Chris's gift to me for Christmas was that... Oh, yeah. Chia. Ch- yeah, that Chia yeah. Baby Yoda thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was one of the things that I opened up and finally took the time to, you know, appreciate. And I was just... I'm a simple-minded person. I know. I said, I said it out <laughs> by the window, and then I watched everything grow towards the window, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> so then the next day, I turned it the other way just to watch it all lean. I'm like, this is... Incredible. <laughs> I mean, you joke, but seriously, it's that, that's pretty it's, cool. It's, it's amazing. It's so to cool. Me. I, I, uh, the other day, I was doing some yard work. That's right, I do yard work, <laughs> and I was clearing some vines off the side of my house because guess what? There was a motherfucking cricket in the vines, and I had to get them. I couldn't sleep. I got them, uh, but with the vines, they were clinging to the house so fervently. <laughs> and I was getting in there with the rake. I was getting them off there. And I stuck the rake. It was like a nightmare. 
<laughs> I stuck the rake down into the like the paneling in the house, and I got in between a bunch of the vines, and I'm like, grr, grr, and I pried all the vines off, and they all came down on me, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh no, and there was like a hundred spiders crawling all <laughs> oh, over. Oh god, no! Oh fuck that! That's terrible. And I uh, probably legitimately went. Ah! Ah! And I ran away. (laughs) (laughs) Well, uh, that's a a good story to end on. That's pretty good. We're at an hour. Somehow we made it to an hour. (laughs) Right around like the 10 minute mark, I'm like, Jesus, what else is there for me? I I had like two and a half hours of sleep. (laughs) We, We hit your talking points by 15 minutes in and I'm like... Oh. oh no! <laughs> yeah, you got two hours of sleep, and it's like one in the morning yeah. when we're recording this. So, but let's let's park it in the garage. Yeah, now we're gonna go watch Shulk. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed recording it, which is a lot. I had I had about as much fun as I do when I'm just talking to my friends. Right. Did you have more fun waiting for me to see you in my window? <laughs> and now I forgot to tell I forgot to tell that story. Real quick, real quick. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Uh so you guys had your Saturday Saturday evening D D session or whatever, your lame O D D session. Lame D D sure. And <laughs> you guys told me it will probably be done around eleven o'clock. Oh, I would be. It was a it was a good time to just throw out there. Actually, it was a terrible time to throw out because who's just hanging out at eleven in, at night? Exactly. But <laughs> but <laughs> But I was cool with it, so I come over to John's house at 11 o'clock, and I'm like, oh, I want to play a prank on John. (laughs) And he just has this big window out front that looks into his living room, and I'm like, I'm just going to stand in his window outside to, to spook him when he comes into the living room. And I'm just standing there for about 10, 15 minutes, and I'm like... And the police showed up. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm like, where is he? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's just standing, creeping in his better. window. It gets better. Oh it gets my better. god. This is around 11. Yeah, this is... Yeah, and I'm like, oh, he's still in his session. I'm wondering if he's, he, if he's in his game room, and which he was, and his game room has a window to the front of his house. And so I sneak behind his bushes in the front of his house, and he's got just like three or four inches of window peering out from behind his blinds. And so I'm just like sitting there spying on his windowsill, looking. I see him there sitting at his desk. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get him so freaking good. And I'm just standing there staring at him, just mean mugging him. 20 minutes go by. 20 minutes go by. <laughs> oh my god! You've just been standing outside of his house for half of an hour. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I am legitimately getting scared. Like, if one of his neighbors <laughs> sees me. To make it better, Cody, three of my four neighbors have cameras <laughs> pointed towards my house. Well, they got a fun little show. <laughs> yeah, they did. And I'm like, and not, not, a, it was so frustrating because you would look out of your window periodically. <laughs> But it's dark out, so you couldn't see me. Nope. That's a weird, that's a weird glare on the wind, on the on the window. And so, and so I'm like, oh, it's dark outside. He can't see me. And so I turn on the flashlight on my phone, and I'm like, oh, but. And so I thought just like turning the flashlight on would make him look out the window, nope. but it didn't. Okay. And I'm like, mm, okay. I if I had just have my flashlight on, it'll be even more conspicuous to the neighbors. Yeah, it would be. We're so I put, I put my hand over the light oh my God. and wait for him to look out the window. And when I lock eyes with him, I move my hand and just light up my face. Zero reaction. <laughs> Stone face. He just looks out his window and then he just gives me a little wave. <laughs> That's cute as hell. Oh. I like the version of the story where he saw you immediately and just didn't do anything. And you just were like sitting out there like a jackass. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a fun little story. Well, <coughs> all right, everybody, I'm sweating my ass it's off. It's time right to do now. the customary thing of, of how we end these episodes where we all just 
As a group, let's all stand up. Stand up. Okay. And we shuffle out, not hitting the stop record button. Do we do that? That, that is customary. We've done that for every episode, not including all the others. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Uh, I think Bye. I just hurt my back pop. Man, that one was cool. a shit kicker, huh? I'm falling over everything. We just, I'm just, I'm just gonna get the door.